via my words, was like, this is the perfect venue for you guys to bring women's bodybuilding. Sure. I told him that. Sure. Yeah, yeah. I said, this is, I said, it's an expo. Um, it's a, it's, it's, it's a well-organized and ran show. The expo is huge. You know, it's a mini version of the Arnold. And I said, if the Arnold took it out of his show, but you guys p- plugged it into your show, that makes your show a little bit more appealing than the Arnold to me. You know, the Arnold's always going to be the Arnold because it's been around forever. But again, at the end of the day, if you can take, think about it, if you had 19 athletes at the show the week before at the Titan show, which <laughs> Tamer already said he's bringing it back because he didn't know it was going to be that big or that popular. And then those girls say, well, instead of just going home, I can jump on a flight or jump in the car and drive up the road to Reno to a show. And you have, let's say, 14 or 15 girls at this show. Why not? You know what I'm saying? It makes the show just better because now you're, you're the Legion Sports Festival, like the Arnold Sports Festival. Now you have something that the Arnold doesn't have, and that's women's body weight. And that'd be great because you know what? A lot of ladies, especially since it's a, it's a show closer out to the West. Yeah. Because there's, there's not a lot of other than the, than the, um, uh, the Triple O now. Well, you can't so much count the um, the Rising Phoenix because it's invitation. Yeah. And then you have this show, The Titan. I know ladies who tell me, say, George, I wish I had a show close to the West. Uh, one lady I know, um, Andrea Sowers, she says, you know, Andrea Sowers, she says she, she hated that she missed out because she was going through some issues or stuff medically. She hated that she missed this show in Anaheim because now we have a show where she lives in California. Um, well, think about it, Boswell. She wouldn't have went to the UK probably if she knew that this. And here's the thing. It it will have to be a big deal because Tamer's exact words, and I will quote him as saying, me and Jake figured, found, we basically decided because there wasn't enough women in women's bodybuilding at the Olympia that we made an exception to the rule to allow this year's women to compete. Because remember, me, you, and I was like, when Heather said, well, this is for this year, we're like, no, it's not. It's for next year. So clearly, when we always say the powers that be have the control to do whatever they want, clearly we now know they, they have the power to do whatever the hell they want. And they made it so that the classic physique guys, the women's fitness girls, and the women bodybuilders have one more chance to get their Olympia qualifications, and they did. And it was smart. And it was genius because, guys, I'm going to tell you, I was at that show, and that show in L.A. was jam-packed. Packed. And I don't even think Tamer knew it was going to be that popular because it wasn't very much advertised. It wasn't, you know, it, we, we had talked about it, but we didn't think it was, I didn't think it was going to be that big. And when you got 19 girls in bodybuilding, 19, that says a lot. And his exact words was, because of the numbers, it will be back next year. And I'm guaranteeing you guys, if they had 19 girls this year, it's probably going to be like 25 girls next year at least, because it's stateside. You know, you don't have to fly over to Europe. You can save your money. It's, you know, flying to L.A. is not that expensive, and you're at a destination place. Take your community. You know, I'm not sure Boswell would have took her kids to Disneyland. <laughs> he probably would, because, because you know, <laughs> I think what made the Lando show so popular, the Olympia Lando show, because it was, the venue was closer. You had Disney World down the road. You had, you know, Universal Studios. You have Places if you had a family, you can go somewhere. And yeah. with this show, because you're not too far from Disneyland, you know, it's something you can do. Vegas is a again, it's not a family friendly um, city. And, and here's the thing, and that, here's the thing about the Legion show and even Tamer show. Every kid that walked in, I have a three year old son, they gave him toys. Like at the ta- in Tamer show, they gave him like little clappers. Little, I mean, my son's still running around playing with the goddamn thing. They got, they had a, the guy at the door had a box of toys. And these kids got to pick like three or four toys. And then you got to the Legion show. They had these. My son spent the whole damn entire time. Even when I went on stage, he finally fell asleep. Because there's those damn jumper things. The little jumpy bouncy houses. They had like five or six of them there. So it was. it's a kid-friendly atmosphere. So when you have shows like that, it's not only for... It's a kid-friendly atmosphere, so you got the jumpy houses, you got the stickers, you got the toys. And again, if you got two shows like that back-to-back where you can bring your family and your friends and have a good time, 
food and all kinds of stuff going on. It's a perfect, it's a perfect double deal. So you can do Titan, and then you can come to Reno and do Reno. And again, like they say, uh, Reno is kind of different. They say it's a mini Vegas. I don't really get it. But again, that's the exact same place. The Sports Fest, uh, this show is a family, kid-friendly atmosphere, which makes it even great. So, yeah, because I know they, they used to call it the, the smallest little, big, the smallest biggest uh, city in the world. Because you know, it's kind of like it's somewhere far from Vegas. It's like, it's like off Broadway if you, yeah. you, you like if you do Vegas, and that will work. Because you know what? Again. If this, if the guy can get promoters who can put, like I said again, there's guys out there, guys. If you watch this live stream, man, I know some of you guys got deep pockets. You can pay for sessions. If you can go do this, do that, you can get at least five, ten of you is good enough. You can put together a little approach the promoter of the Legion show and say, hey, we got some money we want to invest into this. We got maybe let's say. Let's go a little more than I can say forty thousand dollars, so we can put up the prize, put up the the uh, sanction fees, the prize money, and also get us somebody, get us a name where they can be like who lives in right there in Nevada, Irish Kyle. She, you can you can you can make a, a trophy. They had that little superhero trophy, but for women's body building, have their own trophy. How how the Texas Pro they had that trophy for, with Sarah, Irish Kyle, Alinda Murray. Maybe Iris probably be the best, and have a trophy designed for her with her image for his bodybuilder. They also put up like you know some side prize money, like best poser, most muscular. Those things would be a center for a lot of competitors to jump on that show. Because you think about it, I might not win in the top five, but then I might get this little side money if I was best poser or most muscular, like how the Rising Phoenix was doing. You know, not used to have the car, but they took that out. Because Jake is, you know, really trying to save money and the cost, everything like that. Those things would be great. Just need you guys out there to get, you know, like, to, like my mom said, like, either get get off the pot or get off the pot or piss. Don't and, and I said again, don't be afraid what people say about you. Tell them it's none of your damn business. What I do, this is my money. This is something I like. I love. I want to invest into it because I want to see this division. I've been a fan of this division for a long time. I wish I could do it. Honestly, I wish I could. But like I said, uh, <laughs> look at my surroundings. Well, yeah. and, and the great thing is Mel was here, Alex was here, Jessica was here, and I, and I know Mel said that she was going to talk to Jake about the show because Melanie and Jake are really good friends, um, you know, and they, they have the, the, the female muscle channel for a long time as business partners forever. Um, but it's one of those things where I think, you know, you know, like I said, I found it very interesting to see Jessica and Alex here from Wings of Strength and I was like, I just kept raising my brow. I'm like, why are they here? And Jessica's exact word, Alex's exact words was, we want to check it out, see what it's about. So hopefully, because we know that Jake has deep pockets, that, you know, and, and my, again, I'm going to say this to you guys. I said, this is the perfect venue for you guys to have women's bodybuilding. I said, it's the perfect venue for you to set up a booth for you guys to support women's bodybuilding because I know there was a lot of people in there that approached Tina. And I said, even the lady from the Legion Sports Fest and Soul Apparel gave her a free jacket because she's like, I'm sorry that they don't have women. She goes, you know, and it's kind of a shitty deal that, you know, you're, you know, you're the only sport, ex you're the only class excluded from a show like that. Kind of sucks, you know. And I can say that, you know, even being a male competitor, that it kind of sucks because it's like, why not? You have everybody else here, why not? Mm -hmm. You know, we have a comment here from a man. Uh, War Time says, I appreciate when women invest their money to help their division classes, uh, women's physique and women's bodybuilding. Andrea, uh, Whitney, and Sydney created the triple O for the ladies. Yes, we appreciate that. And also, he's picking on me. He says, <laughs> George, have a drink, chill out, George. Over, Andrea, we need to have a pastor to come pray for peace for your nerves. Over this Keith and Andrea hugging hey, each, it's gone, you just brother. Gotta, you just got to make sure that, cause man, you got to make sure. You, I'm just, I'm worried that you know Andrea. I don't. I, I keep sending these videos. I, I, I hope that she you yields to her words of coming in shape because I seen Andrea, I seen Angela Yo's pictures. Holy shit, is <laughs> she getting better? I mean, it's going to be, like I said, I'm, I'm, a, I'm still a fan. And I think you you have told me before, 
when Andrea's on, she's on. Yeah. Uh, I think Angela might have peaked too soon for this, you know, just to the, the win at the uh, Rising Phoenix. This is the Olympia. Well, and again, the one thing that, you know, I can say that Melanie said and that I can think about is that that Andrea is so used to Sandy judging her and that Andrea and Sandy wasn't at the Worlds this year. And, and, and even Andrea was said in so many words that she probably got a little complacent, a little uh, lackadaisical and, and got caught sleeping on Angela Yo. But again, Andrea has to realize that, you know, Sandy is not ju- doesn't judge all her shows, which she only does two. I'm sure she'll be the judge at the Olympia. But again, at the exact same time, you know, you got to be on because, you know, as, you know, if she's not on, you know, I, you know, I can see Sandy swinging the other way because remember Angela Yo's words, quote unquote, was every day I'm in the gym, I'm painting a picture of what I think the next Miss Olympia should be. So she's she's saying that what she's bringing to the table is what her vision of what Miss Olympia should be, which, you know, I can't argue with her there because she brought it to the, she, you know, she brought it to the world. So, again, it, it's going to be interesting. What we, how many got days? We got 14, 13 days to the Olympia? Well, 10, 11, I think, you 10, know, because, you, you, you know, like I said, the, um, the Olympia starts the 8th, because you got to do the amateurs first, and then you have the press conference stuff in between, and then I think it's the eleventh for they're gonna have you know women's bodybuilding and, the, and the, most of the other female divisions. And then you have bikini men's men's open and the other divisions the next day, because that's that Friday. So I think it's no, that's Saturday. So I think uh, women's bodybuilding physique figure and uh, I think men's classic is gonna be Friday. And then everybody else is going to be on Saturday. Yeah, because here's a question for you, Art. So they were saying, like, like Sergio Oliva and some guys I was talking to, they're like sitting there saying, like, they go, you know, because the last time they did the Olympia, the men went on, like, they go on so late. And so what I was saying was, I didn't say, I, you know, what I, I guess I wasn't suggesting that they that they're not the, the the most popular of the sports. It's like. Me and you and George can sit here and say, how don't you guys figure this out that the guys that you should have on first that need to be peaking and that people are paying all this money for, how aren't they the priority of the show? You know, these guys go on so late. The last couple of years, these guys have gone on so late. And there's been complaints about them, you know, about these guys going on so late and getting on stage so late and, you know, you know, the sleep and the peak and all this other stuff, you know, and if supposedly they're the draw, why aren't they the priority of the show? Is my question. Well, I think it gets it gets back to the question of um, show management. I mean, I mean, if you really, if they really are the draw, then yeah, it makes sense. For me, it makes sense. Um, if you have to add another day, yeah. If you have to, I mean, their shows was it? I'm trying to remember. Was it um, Pittsburgh? Yeah. Or what a- was it that 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 had like two three days? It's, it's it's like if you have to add another day, add another day, because yeah. it's because it's ridiculous for you guys to have to show up, and then you're pumped up backstage, you're all oiled up and tanned up and shit like that, <laughs> and then you have to sit there for like three, four, five hours waiting for your time to go on stage. I mean, it's like it's ridiculous. You shouldn't have, you shouldn't you shouldn't have a show in which the night show goes on for six hours. And that's what happens. 